Hi, I'm Roki Bhasan, a PhD candidate in the Molecular Bioscience program at Arkansas State University and my advisor is Dr. Fabricio Medina Bolivar. Today, I'm presenting our research on finding the anti-inflammatory molecular mechanism of arachidin 3. Here is my poster and I will break it down in the following slides for better visibility and understanding. Chronic inflammation can cause and help to progress many other diseases like heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer, etc. Even though there are several anti-inflammatory drugs available which invented decades ago, scientists are consistently looking for more targeted, improved and less side effective drug candidates. Our lab uses peanut hair root system to produce some natural compound known as arachidin. In this project, we will elicit, extract and purify the arachidin 3 from peanut hair root medium and check its anti-inflammatory mechanism in mouse macrophage cell line. On the method section on figure 2 in the poster, after elucidation extraction of the peanut hair root culture medium, arachidin 3 was purified using HPLC method which later has been used to treat the cells. After checking the cytotoxicity, we have used various molecular and imaging technique to understand and elucidate the anti-inflammatory mechanism of arachidin 3. In figure 4, cytotoxicity of the arachidin 3 against raw cells has been checked using real-time GLOW MT cell viability assay in various time points. Lower micromolar concentration like 5 and 2.5 micromolar concentration is showing no cytotoxicity compared to the DMSO vehicle control. Later, LPS induced inflammatory cells were treated with arachidin 3 and found that arachidin 3 significantly reduces the pro inflammatory cytokine IL 6 production compared to the control. We have also checked the MAP kinase pathway and found that arachidin 3 can inhibit the MAP kinase pathway in LPS induced cells using western blot technique. nf kappa beta signaling pathway plays crucial role in inflammation and many drugs are specifically targeted for this pathway. Inhibition of any major molecule in this pathway can reduce inflammation. So we did some in silico computational analysis which suggests that arachidin 3 has stronger binding affinity for p65 and ikk showing in table 1 of the poster. To test that, we have used immunofluorescence based imaging technique shown in figure 6 of the poster and found that arachidin 3 inhibits the translocation of NF kappa beta P65 complex and also the HMGB1. These results suggest that arachidin 3 acts as an anti inflammatory compound by regulating the NF kappa beta signaling pathway. The proposed molecular mechanism of arachidin 3 is shown in figure 7 of the poster. In conclusion, we have found that lower concentration of arachidin 3 is safe and it functions as an anti-inflammatory reagent by inhibiting the P65 complex translocation into the nucleus in NF kappa beta signaling pathway. This eventually blocks the production of pro-inflammatory cytokine IL-6. Also, western blotting results suggest arachidin 3 can inhibit MAP kinase pathway in LPS induced cells. For further experiment, RTQPCR and other molecular technique will be used to check how arachidin 3 affecting other key proteins and in vivo animal testing will be done for better understanding. This research finding will help our understanding of the molecular mechanism of arachidin 3 and carry important medical implications as a potential anti-inflammatory drug molecule. I want to thank everyone, especially to my advisor Dr. Fabricio Medina Bolivar whose guidance and support was crucial for this project. I would also like to thank everyone who worked so hard to organize this online meeting and the funding agencies, especially the Arkansas Bioscience Institute. Thank you so much.